how to best provide a psychological profile of Hannibal Lecter. Yes, well, you wouldn't be performing this evaluation for any legal purposes. We don't need you as an expert witness, anything like that. Just consider this two people just talking. Let's talk. Yes, let's talk. Certain personality types prefer to interact with the world differently than others. What personality type is Hannibal? He is the social antisocial. Meaning? Meaning he isn't easily influenced. Hannibal's capacity to be shaped by his social environment seemed non-existent before he met Will Graham. Will Graham convinced Hannibal that he was seeing someone as unique as himself. Just as he convinced you which Will Graham you were seeing. We both thought we knew him. Did you see yourself in Will Graham? I saw an asset and a friend. Your mistake. Psychopaths are narcissists. Narcissists often masquerade as sensitive introverts. An evaluation measures worth. Anxiety on your part is expected. Doctor, I'm here as much to understand myself as I am to be evaluated by you. That's refreshing. Most people sitting in that chair don't appreciate the process. The scrutiny of others has never made me uncomfortable. How well did you know Will Graham? Before or after I shot him? Yes. Before I shot him, I'd say I knew him pretty well. I'd say we were friends. After I shot him, I, I had to wonder whether I knew him at all. You weren't prepared for that? No. There are certain things that no amount of training can prepare you for. Have you prepared yourself for Mr. Graham's criminal trial? I understand the prosecution will be seeking a federal death penalty. I'm afraid Will Graham is going to die and I still won't know who he is. The last act of clarity I had about Will was when I shot him. It was what I felt I could do to help him in that moment. I haven't been able to help him since. You passed your psych eval, Jack. I see no reason to interfere with your duties at the Bureau. And that's the extent of your diagnosis? My diagnosis is you're an intelligent man, and being smart spoils a lot of things. Go back to work. Not nearly as satisfying as I hoped it would be. You're troubled because you still care about Will Graham? I care about the man that I thought he was. What you know about his crimes is incongruous with what you know about him as a colleague and a friend. That's right. One quality in a person doesn't necessarily rule out any other quality. They can exist side by side. Good, terrible. Love the sinner, hate the sin. A little churchy, but yes. I'm supposed to see Will next in court. I've spoken to the families of murderers. They experience a complex series of emotions similar to what you've been going through. Anxiety, shame, anger, guilt. Because they blame themselves for fostering a monster. So do you. So how do these people cope? I found the most successful at coping often stay in touch with their imprisoned loved ones. You want me to visit Will Graham? I want you to forgive Will Graham so you can forgive yourself.
going to end it for them. surprised Chilton allowed you to see me. He said I was no longer your patient, that uh, I was under his exclusive care. Yes. I had to insist. Were you lying to me, Will, when you told me you wanted my help? No. Dr. Chilton accused me of using unorthodox therapies during our conversations suggested that I drove you to kill. That's not what I believe. Absolutely sure I can't interest you in a bite. We need to get going, Dr. Lecter. Yes, of course. Will we be long? Only asking if I should refrigerate or cover and cool on the counter. Put it in the fridge. Dr. Lecter want to kill me. This isn't about you, this is about me. Killing you would be just another hoop for me to jump through. It's, uh, it's sauce for the goose that you're not particularly likable. I like me. You just stole your sister's womanhood. She weaponized her uterus. She shouldn't have been waving it around like it was a gun. So it was self-defense? Damn right. And butchery? 
Are you lecturing me on butchery in my, in my own slaughterhouse? Wouldn't dream of it. You could disappear me with a wink. I heard about the, uh, the embalmed beef scandal. What'd you hear? One of the Verger meatpacking plants in Chicago was investigated for dangerous conditions. They found several whistleblowing employees had been uh, rendered inadvertently. Canned and sold as Little Ivy's leaf lard. It was a favorite among bakers. We didn't lose a single contract. Blame doesn't stick to the vergers. If I kill Hannibal Lecter, that'll stick to me. It is providence itself when a destiny like yours is coupled with a man as resourced as I am. I'm just pointing out the snare around your neck. What you do about it is entirely up to you. <laughs>